Hello fellow electrical engineers and hobbyists. So this is the Capture CIS software tool or RCAD Capture CIS from Cadence Design Systems. What this tool allows you to do is generate circuit schematics that look very professional and also is layered on top of this really powerful tool called P-Spice that allows you to simulate circuits. Now what that simulation does is it does the Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff current law, KVL and KCL if you know, um, much more quickly than you could do it by hand and allows you to verify your circuit calculations. In this video I'm going to give you an overview of how this powerful tool allows you to create schematics and just get you familiar with the environment. So just stick with me and I'll show you what's up. So the first thing you want to do is install a software. What you can do is just open up a web browser and like go to google.com okay yeah go to somewhere like google and then you just type in orcad free trial or something like that go to their website okay i can't even type anyway go to their website download the orcad free trial the installation will take about 20 minutes or so but that's no problem just go get some tea and it'll be fine okay once you've installed the software, you just go to the start menu, <clears throat> work out trial, capture CIS. Once you've opened capture CIS, you can go to file, new project, and uh, let's see if I can, oh boy, let's see if I can, yeah, there we go. P-Spice Analog or Mixed AD. Name the project whatever you want. I almost always go with P-Spice Analog or Mixed AD. And then name it, put it in a folder you want, and then it'll ask you if you want to load from a pre-existing project. That's what I did. And this is a buck boost converter. So what you can do is create your, you know, your little schematic, your, your drawing here. And it's all looking all nice and cute. And then you click on the project tab here, the name of the project. The project would house uh, multiple designs if you want. You can do like a, a new design or something. Each design can house multiple schematics. A schematic is represented by a folder here. Each schematic can have multiple pages if you want. Luckily, we only have one page for this one schematic because it's a very simple circuit. Here you can have a library. This library has special parts where you can pick and choose parts from out of the library to add to your circuit. Preferably if they have a simulation profile so you can simulate things. Output, well the output is a uh, different beast so I'm not, I'm not really gonna get to that, but anyway. Piece by resources allow you to really simulate the uh, components that you get out of this library here. So the library parts are disconnected from the simulation a lot of times, and some of them have simulation profiles. Uh, the reason for that is because this Capture CIS tool is supposed to capture the image, uh, the drawing, uh, strictly speaking. And the simulation, really, I consider it sort of a added benefit if your parts can be simulated. So. You know, uh, and that is the P Spice. So Capture CIS and P Spice are separate, um, and but Capture CIS allows you to overlay a circuit drawing and allows you to graphically get into the simulation part of a circuit if you need to. But really, a lot of designs, honestly, are not simulated. You know, you just go based on that that real uh, OG uh, calculations by hand on the engineering paper. You know, for the fancy engineering paper people. But anyway, this is what Capture CIS allows you to do. In the next videos in this series, I'm going to show you step by step how to use the different uh, components or parts of the software. How to place parts, how to wire these components together. And I'd probably even build this thing, rebuild this thing from scratch. Um, or this schematic from scratch, just show you how the tool works and how to get a simulation going. So, to end this video, I'm going to run P-Spice here. P Spice is the added benefit of having drawing here. It allows you to simulate what's in the drawing. And sometimes you have to click the button twice. I don't know, I don't know why. When that simulation runs, boom. This is the output, this red line. This output right here, this zoom area of the buck boost circuit, depending on the duty cycle that you put into it. Okay, so that is Capture CIS what it's used for. I hope you understand. And 
If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And please like this video if you like this overview. I'm going to show you in subsequent videos how to use this tool and to get familiar with it so that you can get to making some professional looking circuit designs and schematics.